to the legal essay again. As you know that we are running this special on the June 16 uh, Soweto Uprising um, Commemoration Day. I've got here with me Mr. Kenneth. We're going to be interviewing him, asking him a few questions. Mr. Kenneth, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. So I see you came to uh, uh, commemorate this day here. What does this day mean to you, actually? You know, it's a painful memory when we think about what happened on the day 16 uh, of June 1976. Yeah. You know, we always, uh, when we remember this day, we are in tears. And when we saw all these pictures, and uh, I think we don't have to uh, commemorate this day only on the 16th of, Ju 16th of June. It's, it's an everyday thing. So, because... 16th of June, it was just a culmination of what was going on on a daily basis. The apartheid and the system and everything which was there. People have been, we have been suffering on a daily basis. So the 16th of June became, uh, I mean, the, the, the culmination. And the, the people were voicing out, you know, because we were, we were angry. I'm, I'm part of them. When I say we, I'm, 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 I'm part of them. Because yeah. I would have done the same. Right, and I can tell that this this uh, day, you know, is closer to your heart. But you're telling the truth when you say it was an everyday struggle. It just so happened that it erupted on the 16th of June in 1976. But that's something that had happened. We appreciate it. We appreciate the youth of back then. What do you think with the current struggles that the youth are facing? Do you think they still have the spirit of the youth of 1976 or that spirit has died? We are now 24 years or 25 years in democracy. All right. The 16th of June, uh, youth, they had that uh, idea and that uh, uh, goal to reach. But that goal has, has, has subsided and uh, people have lost the vision of the, of the youth of 1976. Because as you speak now, we, 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 I mean, our government now, the system that is here, uh, we no longer have the same passion and the same goals as the, as, as the youth of, of June 16. Yeah. Okay, we have this, this uh, elders in, in, in parliament, we have these elders in, in, in the, the top six, the ANC and wherever. Every party, I mean, they come from, from, the, from the same system. Yeah. But we are not coming together to support the youth and to advance the, the, the ideas of the youth and try to, to progress the, 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 the future of, 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 the, of the youth. Because if you can see, the, the, the governing party today is not integrating the ideas of, 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 the, of the young people. Right. Young people are not represented enough in the government. So I, 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 I would agree with you, right, to say that maybe there has been a change from the youth of 1976 it is, it is. to uh, today's youth. Change, yeah. Although among us, we do see movements such as the fees must fall movement and so on, meaning that the youth is there. But now, following what you're saying, you're saying that the government of the day is not integrating with the ideas of the youth and just making making sure that whatever it is that the youth is struggling with, they come to assist. What, what I'm trying to say is we had a government that did not want to listen to the youth. Hence, we have people that died when they were protesting for something so simple to say, can we be taught in a language that we understand? You get me? But brother, you cannot in this day and age, 24, in 24 years in the, the black government, in the, the, in, in the black government, when we have fought so much for the education of the youth, you still have a, 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 young, ch a young child not able to, to reach university. Yeah. Because the, the fees must fall a, a, a movement was just trying to, to say, guys, please, if you say you don't have enough space universities, okay, how many universities has the, 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 the present government has built? Because that was supposed to be the aim of the, of the new government, to build more universities and to build more schools. And we, we were not supposed to see dilapidated schools today for the black people. Because what people has done what they did for, the, for, for, the, for, for, for their white people, for their white children, so what are we doing in this government? Okay, build many universities. Okay, we don't have work. Okay, our, our kids are going to school. Né? They learn to, to, be, to be teachers, to be lecturers, but they, they, they can't be what? They can't be absorbed in the system. Why? Because they say, okay, we don't, we don't have work. Maybe uh, uh, 
our our our, our university's uh, uh, job is, is is bloated and all that. Okay, but we still have many young black child roaming the street because they don't have money to go to university. That that is very wrong in the in this day and age. So the government has failed. What they should have done is to invest in the education of the of the of the black people. We have so many institutions that cannot be, that are run by by foreigners. Why can't we have our own? Okay, if you have had a child to university during on the maybe 1970s, 1977. Okay, but or when we we overtook the government, you send your young uh, child to university to learn so many things. Okay, we would not have been struggling with not running the mines today because we always uh, uh, depend on insourcing. Why can't we have our own uh, children running these institutions? We can't be suffering from uh, not going to universities today because don't, uh, I don't have money, or or the universities are are, are full. Okay, what, why can't we build our own? Why can't we build our own university? Why can't we build our many many schools? Invest in education first, so that we can run our our own country smooth. Mr. Kenneth, thank you very much. It's a pleasure, but it's very emotional place. because I can talk the whole day and you know what? <laughs> yeah. No, but you said a mouthful and I think whoever is going to be listening to this uh, video clip, they will understand where you're coming from and they're going to take yeah. something from it. And I so wish that it reaches the right ears, uh, this message that you had for us today. Let us invest in education. Let us invest in, uh, invest in education so that all uh, institutions in our South Africa can be run by our own people. Let us stop uh, taking people from overseas, from Europe, to, to run our country. No, that is very wrong. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Kenneth. It's a pleasure. Enjoy the day, pleasure. sir. Thank you. There you have it. That was Mr. Kenneth, who was just giving us a rundown of how he sees the events that happened in 1976 in comparison to the events of today. We also touched on things such as your uh, uh, fees must fall movement. Stick around with us. We have other people that we are going to be talking to around this day. Thank you.